so cold here, it's snowing. Can you believe it? It's not even winter yet. Mommy has yet to get me my winter coat. So for today's Wiki Wednesday, I'm going to talk about an animal famous for its white winter coat, the Arctic fox. I've never met an Arctic fox. It's still too warm here, and I don't have a coat warm enough to visit them where they live. Let's learn more together, okay? The link for Kittle, the kids' encyclopedia, is in the description below. Arctic fox facts for kids. The Arctic fox is a small fox which lives in the Arctic. The fox is about 10 to 12 inches high and it weighs from 6.5 to 21 pounds. That's almost twice what I weigh. The females tend to be smaller than the males. The Arctic fox has a round body shape, short nose and legs, and short fluffy ears. It has a deep thick fur which is brown in summer and white in winter. So they change color throughout the year? Isn't that fun? Arctic foxes live for about three to six years. This fox can live in the cold north even when it is negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. That's way colder than it gets where I live. The thick fur helps keep them warm. The fur of the Arctic fox provides the best insulation of any mammal. Its broad, fluffy paws let it walk on snow and ice to look for food just like the polar bears from last week. The Arctic fox has very good ears that it can hear small animals under the snow. When it hears an animal under the snow, it jumps and punches through the snow to catch its victim. The Arctic fox eats any meat it can find. They eat lemmings, Arctic hares, eggs, and dead bodies of animals. The foxes also eat plants sometimes. Arctic foxes do not hibernate or sleep through the winter. They grow thicker fur in the autumn and put on more than 50% of their body weight as fat for insulation and as energy reserves. Behavior. Arctic foxes must endure large temperature differences between the external environment and their internal core temperature. To prevent heat loss, the Arctic fox curls up it tightly tucking its legs and head under its body and behind its furry tail. I do something similar. Mommy calls it my heart pose because I look like a Valentine's heart. This position gives the fox the smallest surface area to volume ratio and protects the least insulated areas. Arctic foxes also stay warm by getting out of the wind and residing in their dens. Though the fox does, is active year round and do not hibernate, they attempt to preserve fat by reducing their locomotor activity. They build up their fat reserves in the autumn, sometimes increasing their body weight by more than 50%. This provides greater insulation during the winter and a source of energy when food is scarce. Reproduction. In the spring, the Arctic fox's attention switches to reproduction and a home for their potential offspring. They live in large dens in frost-free, slightly raised ground. These are complex systems of tunnels covering as much as 1,200 square feet and are often used in eskers, long ridges of sedimentary material deposited in formerly glaciated regions. My den is only about 6 square feet, and it's really a crate. I just call it my den. These dens may be in existence for many decades and are used by many generations of foxes. That's so cool! Breeding usually takes place in April and May, and the gestation period is about 52 days. Litters may contain as many as 25. 25 brothers and sisters? That would be so much fun! Mommy, can we get 24 brothers and sisters for me? The young emerge from the den when 3 to 4 weeks old and are weaned by 9 weeks of age. Diet. Arctic foxes generally eat any small animal they find, including lemmings, voles, other rodents, hares, birds, eggs, fish, and carrion. They scavenge on carcasses left by larger predators, such as wolves and polar bears, and in times of scarcity, even eat their own feces. Yuck! That means poop! In areas where they are present, lemmings are their most common prey, and a family of foxes can eat dozens of lemmings each day. In some locations in northern Canada, a high seasonal abundance of migrating birds that breed in the area may provide an important food source. On the coast of Iceland and other islands, their diet consists predominantly of birds. 
They also consume berries and seaweed, so they may be considered omnivores. This fox is a significant bird eat egg predator, consuming eggs of all except the largest tundra bird species. When food is overabundant, the Arctic fox buries the surplus as a reserve. Adaptations. The Arctic fox lives in some of the most frigid extremes on the planet but they do not start to shiver until the temperature drops to negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Among its adaptations for survival in the cold is its dense, multi-layered pelage, which provides excellent insulation. Additionally, the Arctic fox is the only canid whose foot pads are covered in fur. The fur of the Arctic fox provides the best insulation of any mammal. If I had better fur, I wouldn't need a coat all winter, but I might get pretty hot in summer. The fox has a low surface area to volume ratio, as evidenced by its generally compact body shape, short muzzle and legs, and short, thick ears. Since less of its surface area is exposed to the Arctic cold, less heat escapes from its body. Migrations and travel. During the winter, 95.5% of Arctic foxes utilize commuting trips, which remain within the fox's home range. Commuting trips in Arctic foxes less less than three days and occur between zero to 2.9 times a month. Nomadism is found in 3.4% of the foxes and loop migrations, where the fox travels to a new range then returns to its home range, are the least common at 1.1%. Arctic foxes in Canada that undergo nomadism and migrations voyage from the Canadian archipelago to Greenland and northwestern Canada. The duration and distance traveled between males and females is not significantly different. I am so glad to have my forever home. I don't understand migration. I guess it's because mommy and daddy can take care of me all year long right here. Wow, the coolest thing about the Arctic fox is how it keeps from being cold. How cool is that? This article reminded me that my old winter coat is too short for my long growing body. Time to bug mommy into buying me a new one. Come back on Friday for the next part of Lad, a dog, and I'll see you next Monday for a new Music Monday song. Thanks for learning with me today. Bye!